oh, it hit me. Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to have a look at the WLTOS 12.4.008, which is kind of a hybrid between MJX and WL Toys parts. So let's see whether it's the best of both worlds. And here it is in a box with a carrying handle and it looks quite nice. And already on the box I can see the front bumper and the shocks look pretty much like the ones that I've seen on MJX models. On the back you can see some of the specs that you can expect. Let's open it up. First impression of the car seems quite nice, we will have a detailed look later. The manual, please read it. A 3S charger. And here we have in a hard case the 2000 mAh battery. And since the charging ports are tucked inside, you cannot just use any charger. Your hex tool. And no screwdriver. All right, let's get out the remote. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this remote. It is okay and one-handed steering works well. You have steering trim, you have throttle trim. You can put AAA batteries inside, which for some luck I have a lot. I will have to adjust the steering trim later. There's also a built-in holder for your smartphone, which I think is useless. The lid for the battery compartment has a hinge, so you won't lose it that easily. Since we're already using MJX parts, why not take the remote control? Now for the buggy itself. Let's see what's under the hood. It looks quite tidy. And the first thing I notice is the fan on the 35 amp ESC. There's some water protection going on as indicated by the rubber on the button air switch. A 3500 kV 3S motor with a heatsink. The Dean's RT plug is held in by a screw so you can easily shove the battery on top of it. There I see some free sockets where you can probably run your lights or another fan. Underneath the power switch you find the servo with a long plastic servo link. I like how the battery is secured in this one. The mechanism is quite stable and it works for most of my batteries. The toe of the front tires is adjustable. We have an alloy front bumper which is not as flexible as plastic but so far I didn't break one yet. Oil filled shocks. The whole drivetrain is made of metal, which is audible. The RC seems to have a good mix of metal and plastic parts, where the plastic flexes and we have the durable metal. Underneath it appears that we have an extended chassis from an MJX Hypergo, which is also very durable. The center drive shaft has this beautiful red color. Now for the shock test. In the video I have tested those RCAWD tires which seem to fit perfectly, they are even a bit broader and I would love to test them on that. Remote on, car on. The servo appears to be relatively strong but I will have to adjust the steering. Set, let's go! And it's fast too, and steering is very good.
Next up are the RCA WD tires. They're pretty cool and they add to the dampening. RCAWD Monster Truck Tires Oh, and I also found those classic WL Toys tires from my WL Toys 12423. Let's give them a run. I got this buggy for around 100 euros, and for that price, I am very happy. Oh, I actually got it for the same price as the new release 124010, which is the brushed version. So I guess if you wait, you will get the brush version even cheaper soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.